I want to talk about uh, a couple of board games that I'm actually making and uh, the part that uh, normally messes people about is the um, is uh, 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 printing out the board and uh, if you remember I haven't I haven't shown you yet but I, when you see the other part of the film that I'm making you'll see that I printed this out and how I printed that out I'm going to show you and um, and you can see here that I, all I've done is join the two halves of whatever I'm doing uh, together and I'm only using a, an A4 bubble jet printer which is um, the maximum you can print out is a sheet of paper this big so what I've done is I've put two halves of A4 together and you've got an A3 board virtually depending on the size of your picture and etc etc how, how it is sometimes you can get a big, bigger picture like I've got at the back there you can see I've done a a backgammon board uh, and on the backgammon board I'm going to raise it up I've got, I'm trying to lay it flat at the moment I mean, I've got these to glue out at the, at the present time but if you look you can see they're still they're still in the condition where they're, they're not even joined together they're not even they're not even stuck together but you don't need much and when you do stick them together make sure you use <coughs> PVC glue good quality and make sure that you use it very sparingly and stick along the <coughs> the little bit that you're gonna this bit here right the way along if you use too much you'll find it bubbles up and it pulls the paper it distorts the paper if you use just about the right amount and so it's nearly tacky before you actually lay it down you've got to be very careful at this stage but these are quite easy to print out and if you fill your own bubble jets up there's no problem with colours either uh, you can buy the ink separately and you, you can print as much as you want in fact I've got a set of inks here where I buy half a litre of ink that's half a litre um, and uh, I just keep filling up my, 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 my little inks with that and I've got some smaller ones here for the colours and I keep filling them up you don't use much you use a little injectors to fill them up with ink injectors and I've got the three colours there the blue the magenta and the yellow yellow and um, it, it becomes quite cheap then so you can do virtually what you want um, and if anybody wants to know how to do that I'll show them if if they're really interested but I won't if they're not and uh, so what I'm going to do now, these are little pieces that I've already made, they're not necessarily for the board, but I'm going to have to cut some, these, these look like a one inch square to me. Yeah, I'll just check and see. Mm, Marvellous, and he can't find it when he want it. Yeah, they're about... 28 millimetres or uh, just over the inch uh, 1 and 2 sixteenths it looks like 1 inch and 2 sixteenths so these pieces at the bottom they're actually pieces from a 1 inch brush handle and they'll fit quite nicely on there so what I'll do is I'll cut a few off I'm going to need about 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 24 pieces to play drafts so that, that won't take me long, just a cutting and planing down, then I'll make sure they're flat and put a bit of colour on. So, and the backgammon pieces are the same, they're just uh, flat little pieces of wood. Um, I wish I could buy some of these pieces of wood that are already cut uh, <coughs> brush handle shapes, but uh, you can from America, you get nothing in Britain, you can't find anything in Britain, you can't get what you want in Britain. I can't seem to anywhere. I don't know. There probably are places, but it's irritating because you go to America and Germany and get anything you bloody want. You get nothing out of Britain. No, I don't. I don't know. We're doing so well. I don't know we're existing. But uh, anyway, you've got to go to America if you want anything. You've got to go to America to get it because they they seem to have everything. They seem to have just exactly what you want. But uh, anyway, so I'm getting on with my board games, and these are. 
very very simple to make and I'm going to join this with the other piece and make a, a little film how to how to do these and then the other part of the film will be how I put the board on the back so I'll stop there and uh, happy game making Okay, well, I had a bit of trouble there because I'm trying to <coughs> use one hand to start the program and show you I'm using JSC's uh, Paint Shop Pro 7. And uh, I'm right handed so, and I'm trying to use my left hand to use the mouse with. And uh, I keep going out of shot, but I'll do my best. Um, what I'm trying to do is to, I'm going to open up. This is an introduction to making a board using uh, JSC's Paint Shop Pro 7. Now this is an early 2000 program, I think it's about 2000. I'll just check on the help and uh, about Paint Shop Pro. No, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you. Oh well, there you are, 1998 to 2000 it's got on. Yeah, 1998, so I'll take the later date and say 2000. And this is version 7. So that's what I'm using. Anyway, I'll close that down. You have to excuse me to keep moving around because I'm trying to find out where I am. Ah, there we are. So now what I've done, uh, I've taken in a picture, copied a picture from somewhere on the internet, and uh, what it is, it's just a, a playing board. And what I've got, I've got several of these boards made up, and I've got chess boards. Oh, I found this difficult trying to use my left hand and doing my right. And I've got chessboard one, chessboard two, and the one I fancied was that I'll probably use as a draft board, the black one, which is that one. Uh, I haven't done anything with that one yet, but what I've done, I've taken chessboard three and I've split it into left and right. And what you do with that is you actually, I'll just draw a, pull a picture in now. So I'll click on that one and open it, and there you've got a picture, and I'll pop it in the middle. You just click on expand and it goes into the middle. And then it's got a, a, an enlarged tool at the top there, uh, which is a, oh dear, I find this quite difficult. And you come up with the, the hourglass and then you click on it and it enlarges it for you. So you make it as big as you want. But I find that if you stay at um, stay at that, it, it, it's good enough. You stay at the, the normal one. And what I've done is I've gone to... The cut one... There's a lasso one which is any shape, one is any shape, yeah I do apologise for doing this to you, one, that's any shape, the lasso, and this one is just in squares, and what you do is you, I must change my hands for this, you go along and you cut out what you want, so I've gone directly in half, and cut the board exactly in half and then you go up to edit and you cut it uh, you can copy it if you want but I've cut it and then what you do is you go to edit go to paste and you paste it as a new image and there's your new image and what you do now is you just save that, save as, save it as a JPEG. There's quite a few in here, you've got all sorts of things you can change it into if you want. Uh, uh, PMGs and map paints, gems and everything else, but I'm changing it into a JPEG. And 
I'll save it as I'll delete that and save it as yeah I'm trying to do two or three things at once it's quite difficult um, chessboard one because that is chessboard one and it's the the left hand side is it the left hand side or the right hand side I took there it's the left hand side so I'll, I'll write on there left one and I'll save it because of the limitations this is trying to tell you it's it's, it's condensed everything to a one a one because you can do levels you can have two or three levels on top of each other just say yes to that and then when you go and look for it now if you go to open you can see there's your left hand board you've saved it as a left hand board and then what you do is cancel that cancel that one because you've got the left hand board and you're left with this bit so what you do is you go along and do the same with this one and save it as a right hand board cut it and you don't need any of that anymore so you can get rid of it because you've got the right hand side in no I don't want to save it and then what you go is to edit paste as a new image and there's your right hand board so you save that as a P JPEG save as yeah I hope I do this right for you JPEG save it as a JPEG board left we'll just change that to right so we change it to right and save of course the limitations etc and now what you've got is no we don't want any of that that's just saving things if you look in your test board now wherever you've saved it you could have saved it to desktop I've saved mine to chess but chessboard and you can see I've got left hand and right hand chessboard it doesn't want to so there you are left hand and right hand and all you've got to do now is click on it up will come your program and what you do then is go to print print preview go to setup there's setup fit to page and all you do now is fit it print make sure you're in properties I've been doing books and things so I've got to make sure that I'm set to off and one page per sheet okay okay and you've got the facility in this and there you are it's, it's ready to print HP gesture gesture and it's going to print the left hand side for me and that will come out as a full set well I can print the thing I, I will print it for you just to show you what it prints out like start printing and down at a little printer it start growling now and it'll print out one half of the board that noise is telling me I, put, I fill my own uh, things up so it, it keeps telling me I'm out of ink and I'm not out of ink because I've just filled it up and this piece of card here is to stop the next piece of paper going in so there's little tricks and treats and things you can do all the time and here you see the, the, the chess board coming out half the size that I need so you get a full size, virtually a full size chessboard when you want to, when you want to uh, put the two together. So it's as simple as that. And you do the same with the right hand side. And then you cut, 
cut the pieces of white paper off. But I'll stop there because I don't want to go too too long. And there you'll see you've got one half of a chessboard or a jackboard or whatever you want. And you put the other half with it. Um, I'll stop there, print it out and just... Uh... Okay, well I've gone into uh, the right hand chessboard now and I've start printing because I've shown you how to do it anyway. And it will it will print that out. I've got the left hand side here. So now it's going to print out the right hand side for me. I hope this isn't too much of a mess. But uh, you can see I'm using nothing nothing particularly new. I'm not using any fantastic programs. Adobe Photoshop or anything like that. I've got nothing spectacular or special. And don't worry about this. Uh, if you get a little bit more at the top or you do at the bottom or whatever, it will. You, you can adjust for the size when you cut it and stick them together. And JSC's uh, Paint Shop Pro 7, I think you can get on the net for nothing. I've seen it on the net, you can, you can pick it up for nothing. It's Paint, Paint Shop Pro 7, Paint Shop Pro 8. And you'll see there, that once I stick the two together, all I've got to do now is go down with my knife, cut them off and stick the two together. The two halves together. And there you'll see that uh, it'll give me a completed board there. Anyway, I'll stop there and we'll continue in a minute. Okay, well what I'm going to do now is um, cut these into shape and I'm going to cut straight down there Yeah, I need a little bit more. You can just see the whites, the white bits on it, which I don't want. It won't make a lot of difference, but... Uh... Right, I'm Now on the other side I'm going to need something to glue on to so I'm just going to be a little bit shorter. I just need about five millimeters or so or less. This is just the bit you're going to glue. You don't need an awful lot. Because it's not heavy paper or anything. I'll cut the bases off. Cut the ends off. It's, you don't need a long ruler then to cut the sides. Don't need to worry about anything because these will these will line up. All I'm doing is cutting up to the black. So I'm just inside the black. It's 
So that's a piece where you can lie it over now and they should join up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for some new blades for my half knife. They're a, they're a bit critical at the moment, I'm afraid. So there we are. We just all we do then is glue that little bit there, stick it underneath, put the two together, and there you've got your your board. So it's as simple as that. And that's a little bit I wanted to show you that was the mechanical side of it, where you glued the two bits together. So you must. Not forgetting to leave that little bit there, about a quarter of an inch, just less than a quarter of an inch. And the minimal amount of um, glue and you'll find that it, it won't wrinkle up, otherwise it will bunch up. And it's just something we don't want. Okay, so I'll stop there and uh, hope that's been a help.